Hey guys, good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Oz Mining. So yeah, I just thought I'd give a bit of an update how things are going in the, uh, the farm today. And i um, got a bit of a mega unboxing to do. We'll, we'll come to that in a minute. But yeah, let's, let's go inside. Let's go inside the, uh, the mining garage and see what's going on, guys. So yeah, so we've been up and running for, yeah, probably a uh, couple months now. You know, we've got up and running just before Christmas and, um, you know, to be honest, the rigs are going pretty well, you know, like, uh, you know, got quite a small room here, three by three, but we, we've got the air con up here. It's really hot day in Australia today, so it's, uh, you know, sort of mid-30s, so um, this little sort of two and a half kilowatt uh, air con split system uh, it means that, you know, the farm can, can, you know, get enough cool air to sort of keep things from, um, from blowing up, so... Uh, you know, I probably, if I had one regret, I probably wish I got a slightly larger um, kilowatt system. But look, for now, it's working good, so I can't complain. So, yeah, let's just do a quick spin around the farm. So, um, got one of my original rigs here. Uh, I think this is a, let's have a look, it's a uh, Rampage, I think it's an X99 or an X79 motherboard. Um, good thing about these is they have quite a lot of full um, XT, X16 slots, PCI 16 slots, so you can actually run the full width um, uh, risers up to um, 3060s, which if you know the original 3060s, which can be unlocked with the 470.05 driver, um, use up, uh, I think, eight uh, slots, so you do need those full width um, uh, rises to, to really optimize um, the hash rate. So yes, yeah, so we've got this rig here running quite well. It's got two 3060, um, uh, well, how should I put it, 12 gig, you know, 4070.05 drive, so you get 50 meg hash on them. Uh, and it's got three full hash rate 3070s on either side. Um, down here is my, uh, this is my 11 GPU rig, which we did quite a lot of videos on. Um, got a lot of great feedback on this rig. Um, you know, get quite a lot of questions on this one. Uh, you know, how, how do I get all the 11 GPUs on there? What's the BIOS settings, etc. So, um, I have done a video on that. So just ask me if anyone wants to know, and I'll send you the link to all that and how I've set up the, um, you know, the PCI lanes and the one one to four splitters down below there. So, yeah, that rig's running really well. Um, we've got the, I guess, like the hanging rig up here, which I'm really happy about. I'm finding this, and I'll show you guys in a minute, is looking like a really good way to keep the cards, good airflow, very cool. And I'm, I'm actually, I've brought a couple more shelves today, which I'll show you. Um, and this has got all um, RX 580s on there, um, getting around 30 mega hash. There is two um, Hynix memory cards in there, which I need to flash the, v, flash the v BIOS. Um, so I'll be doing that in the, in the coming week, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with this rig, running quite well. Um, I am going to start doing some dual Ethereum and ton mining on this. A bit one word of warning first, you know, I'm powering six um, RX 580s here on this 750 watt uh, server PSU. I don't know if you can see it, but over there it's running about, it's running about 715 watts. So, you know, I'm, I'm getting close up to sort of 90% of the server PSU power. And look, that's kind of okay with server PSUs. ATX, no, keep it 80%. But, but the point is, if I'm gonna mine Toncoin as well, as one of Ethereum, it is gonna increase the power draw. So I am gonna to have to probably put another server PSU here and just lessen the load on, on this PSU because once we start doing the dual mining, it's gonna draw more power. And you know, safety first, we wanna make sure we, we keep a bit of headroom on those uh, PSUs. So yeah, so just uh, spinning around. I've got my little workbench over there, as you would have seen before. Um, and I've got the rigs on this side. So I've got three rigs over here. So we've got the, uh, this is originally my light hash rate rig we built um, to do raving coin. Um, it's got five LHR 3060 Ti's and five full hash rate 3070's on there. Um, and in the end, to be honest, with the um, NB minor, um, you know, light hash rate sort of unlocked 75%, I'm not actually mining Raven Coin now, I'm just mining Ethereum. Um, I'm mining it on uh, nice hash original, not quick miner. The reason is, um, one of the 
big benefits of Nice Hash, the original version, it will look for the best profitable coin. So if Ethereum dips, it will start mining Conflux uh, or Grin um, or any other sort of algorithms which are more profitable at the time. So I find it's very good profit smoothing by using the Nice Hash, the original software. So, and, and this one I've got the 180X PSU down here and then I've got three 750 watts um, server PSU. So that, that's quite a nice tight rig there, really happy with that, running really smooth. Um, I've got one of my earliest rigs here, it's hard to see all the fans, but it's called, it's my Titan rig. Um, I think we've got 10 cards on the end. Um, it's got, it's got four um, RTX 2060 Supers on there. Um, and it's got a little mix of cards, it's got a, like a full hash rate 3060, um, it's got a 2060 in there, That's it. actually it's got three 2060s in there, it's got a Dell 3060 Ti full hash rate, and then we've got a full hash rate um, uh, Asus Turbo RTX 3070. Now this rig is a little bit of a hodgepodge, um, I'm actually going to be removing all this and I think I'm going to split this rig up and get some things hanging um, up in a similar way to that. Now you will see in here as well, fans are not spinning in there, that's because I've actually turned it off. Um, I'm finding the, RT the RTX 2060 Supers do get really hot and I'm planning just to, um, actually firstly there's a couple in there that run really hot, I'm actually going to take one apart. I'm going to try and replace it and even replace the thermal pads to see if I can get some better cooling in those 2060 supers. So, so yeah, watch this space for that video. And up here I've got another older, um, this is, a, uh, this, yeah, so this is the X99 motherboard. It's an older version, but again, it's got the full size X16 slots, which is really good for running uh, the full hash rate 3060s, of which I've got two MSI 3060s up there. And I've got three, four hash rate versus the TI. So, um, so yeah. So what we do at the moment? So that's a quick sort of uh, run around the, uh, the the farm. So what's happening? So what I'm planning to do, and you'll see here if we can sort of zoom out. We've got one of these um, uh, metal frames here, which are are really good. I find really good for airflow. Um, a bit better than I would say these frames, which um, have got like solid boards in them and. Um, and you'll see here, I've kind of just used one of the shelves in here on the top to do like the hanging technique that I'm planning to do a bit more widespread in this farm. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to move this rig here um, over to the back wall and I'm going to put another one of these um, uh, sort of, uh, I can't, I can't record, they're, they're, they're like, al um, like aluminium sort of plated um, frames. So you'll see out here, I've been to Bunnings this morning and we have picked up one of these um, we picked up one of these uh, what do you call it, Montgomery six tier metal shelving units so $150 at Bunnings um, it, not in all Bunnings so you need to search around and see whether they're in stock um, and you know I find these are just perfect tailor-made for mining so so I'm not sure if these guys have mining in mind when they built them but they are fantastic I love the fact as well they've got the wheels there, which means, you know, you'll see in here, um, if I need to sort of just move one or pull it out from the wall a little bit, you can very slowly just move, move them around. Um, so it's quite handy if you just want to get in behind and check anything, um, how it's running. So, so yeah, so look, what we're going to be doing as well today is, um, and I'll cut back into a separate video, is we're going to be doing um, a pretty big unboxing, Bonanza. We've got a lot of stuff coming through. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll cut back in uh, three, two, one, and we'll get on with some serious unboxing. Three, two, one. All right, guys, back inside. Uh, well, yeah, check this out. We have got a lot of deliveries. So it's, uh, yeah, stacking up here. So, uh, yeah, we need to roll our sleeves up and start unboxing some of this stuff. Um, as you know, and I've always, you know, said to you guys, you know, my probably number one tip for buying uh, you know GPU mining uh, equipment whether it's new or used is always unboxing video you know we're spending a lot of money just want to make sure that we get what we paid for and there's no physical damage you know of course you know you don't always find out what you've got until you've got things up and running and hashing away but just for the primary check 
um, you know, always unboxing boxing videos, guys. You know, I've had a few examples where I had damaged or broken stuff. Um, but you know, it's easy to go back to to the uh, retailer or the seller then to say, hey, look, you know, that's what you got, and uh, yeah, let, let, let's sort it out. So, so uh, yeah, so we'll we'll get all this stuff unboxed. Um, you know, another update from my side as well. I've actually been asked to build a rig for someone so i guess uh you know kind of turn into a little bit of a business now where people are asking me to build rigs so i've got some stuff here for the rig i'm going to build for a customer um and also some stuff myself of course you know so it's uh you know look you know it's kind of uh where are we now february 2022 and uh, you know there's obviously a bit of pressure on um crypto prices the uh you know ethereum difficulties getting a bit harder and you know we're not sure when but you know we've got eth 2.0 coming but look at the moment um you know even those factors still making good profits from everything that i'm mining with at the moment so um you know and you know if you're making profits then for me i'm happy to keep reinvesting it's not financial advice you make your own decisions guys do your own research um but yeah i'm i'm still uh, reinvesting um but starting to slowly uh, i guess as well also reserve some coins and and i guess store some coins um uh, and you know that's a bit more of a longer term thing that I'm looking at doing now. So yeah, so let's get into some boxing. I think a few things first is uh, picked up a couple of more USB sticks today from uh, Office Works. You know, six bucks. Yeah, you know, I think that's that's an amazing price. Thirty two gig uh, USB three point zero. Um, look, I know it's probably more ideal to put Hive OS on an SSD, but I, I've never had touch wood an issue with USB. So six bucks a pop. Um, I've got a few more and obviously I need one of them for the rig I'm going to build for a customer. So I'm also, I was in Officeworks, had these um, alcohol wipes reduced from $4 to, wait for it, 40 cents. So it's, uh, yeah, so I thought, you know, to get to get 100 of these, um, just show you they're all like individual wipes um, in here. Let's have a little looky. And yeah, just really good for uh, cleaning down. You know anything GPU or computer related, so so yeah. So I thought I didn't really need this many, but I thought at forty cents, then you know even if, if I give one away or something, or I put some away for storage, great. Also brought some uh, uh, isopropyl alcohol for cleaning. I've got a few um, GPUs I need to clean, and I'm going to give those RTX 2060 supers a full clean and service as well. Get some thermal paste and pads on. So. So yes, I got that for I think it was six ninety five at um, at J Car. So yeah, J Car really good. Um, always have a lot of stuff for you know ho hobby people, people in computers. Um, you know, there's always lots of awesome stuff they have there. So a bit more of a specialist store, but I can definitely recommend J Car um, for things that you need um, to do with mining. Um, so yeah, let, let, let's get on some boxing, guys. Let, let me guys, let me stick you guys up here. We go and uh, yeah let, let's start opening some boxes so yeah guys i hope you're all going well with your rigs and uh be interesting to know what you guys are thinking um you know with regards to you know are you thinking about selling some of your gpus are you buying gpus um you know, definitely noticing that some of the pricing is uh coming down now um uh with uh you know a lot of the gpus you know like RTX 3070s were going, you know, I've seen them getting close to two grand for a full, 2,000 Aussie dollars that is, for a full hash rate um, card, you know, probably just before Christmas. So it's uh, good to see now that they've, they've started to come down closer to, um, you know, probably like, you know, $1,400 or sub $1,400. Um, you know, I'm expecting to see some come down to maybe 12, you know. I'm not sure they get down to a thousand dollars. You know, the thing with the full hash rate cards, particularly the 30 series, they're not going to make any more of them. So it's not like there's fresh coming on the market. They're all limit hash rate now. So I still think there's going to be, you know, a minimum floor. I'm sorry, got in the background there. I still think there's going to be a minimum floor price on the full hash rate 30 series. Um, but you know, I'm hoping it's going to come down close to a thousand dollars. So, so, so guys, see here, I've um, picked up some more of these. You were seen in a previous video where, you know, I explained that I feel that buying two 750 watts um, uh, PS, uh, server PSUs is is a you get more watt for your dollars, um, and you know, I find as well that you know, with the power boards and particularly some of the lower power cards, I can still use all like the i think it's four eight 16 um uh, slots on the breakout board 
and I'm, I'm still not using the full 750 watts. So I'm, as opposed to if you've got a 1200 watt PSU, you might not be using you know all the power that, that's potentially there. So yes, yeah, so I picked up um, some more of these. Uh, I've got four together. You know, I'm getting these for about 35 dollars a pop. So you know, think about it: 75 bucks for 1500 watts. I think that's cracking by, you know, so, um, yeah, so have got four more of them. Hopefully that'll keep going for a little bit longer. I'll just put them over there for now. Right, so got some small stuff here. Um, I've covered up my name, obviously, just for privacy, but I always find if I'm doing videos, you know, you, you just want to keep track of who sent it to you um, as well. So if you do need to go back, um, you can obviously just refer to who sent to you. Um, in here. I think in here we've got some uh, on-off switches. Again, these are uh, some koalas on there. Here you go. Nice little koala. Is it, no, oh, wombat. No, okay. Koala, koala there. Uh, wombat there. So for those uh, who are not from Australia, just a little bit of Aussie uh, wildlife there. So um, yeah, so just go. You know, literally these are a dollar a piece, um, and these are just for just starting up your rigs that don't have an on-off switch. So a lot of the I guess, uh, you know, like Z390, Z590s, motherboards, you know, they don't have the fancy on-off switches, so these are just great to, to get the, the motherboards on and off. So let's... Uh, so we'll do, we'll do all the boring stuff first, then we'll get into hopefully some, uh, some GPUs. So, so yeah, so I've got this one here. Uh, I think it's just some splitters. Uh, a few little packages in here. Graphics card power, eight pin female. Yeah, so these, these should be. Uh, man, these are wrapped up tight, eh? Very well wrapped up. Oh my god, it's like. <laughs> right, so we've got 10, 20, 60, 60. I've never seen so many layers of wrapping. There we go. Beautiful. So there we go. Just the the good old uh, eight pin female to two eight pin males. I guess these are bread and butter of a lot of my rigs. Um, the only thing I have learned: do not daisy chain them. So ne never do that. And then put one on on there. That's just recipe for disaster. I've had a few like not fires, but I've had a few things melt a little bit. Um, so just never ever daisy chain these. So otherwise, I find them brilliant. You know, if, if you search around on eBay, you can get some really good prices for them. So so yeah. So let's, uh, Get, get them out of the way and again I'm, I'm always a big believer of trying to um, don't always just um, buy when when you need it or you just have to build a rig you know have some spares in the background um, you know you never know when things might break or go wrong so if you've got a few things sort of spare in the background it just kind of helps with um, you know if you have any breakages or, or issues you need to replace and yeah so so guys here um, you know, I've seen the, uh, I think it's Red Fox Miner guy, you know, he's brought a lot of these, I've, I've client, and I've also got one for myself. Um, for the rig I've got inside, I just want it to be a bit neater, um, not so messy. So th this is gonna be, I'm gonna have one for myself and just keep it up in my office, um, where I sort of do rig building and maintenance and stuff like that. But I will have a few GPUs just in my office, just this extra space, it's an air-conditioned room. So I'm gonna have a nice and neat one in my house as well, kind of thing. So let, let's have a quick look at it, actually. So I've, haven't, I've only seen these on, uh, on YouTube before, so so they, they look pretty good. Um, so you know, let's let's open one up. Let's let's put one down here, and let, let's let's open up one. And see what they look like. Here. And I've definitely found like I'm and I'm definitely going to be moving a bit more towards in the mining garage uh, to doing the hang like GPU hangers, hanging it from those um, you know shelf frames I've got, um, but. You know, I still have, I guess, some requirement for, you know, mining frames. So, yes, hopefully this is going to be like, oh, so very, very nicely neatly packed. I will say, like, uh, uh, oh, look at that, will you? And let's, let's bring you guys in a bit closer. You do actually get uh, an on-off switch in there. So, actually quite comedy that I've actually, look, it's a dollar a piece. It's five bucks for five, you know, so. But that's actually pretty cool. You actually get an on-off switch with the, with the kit there. So, I'm... Uh, I'm pretty impressed with that. I don't know if that's a standard thing you get with these frames. Um, you know, feedback, comments, let me know. Um, but yeah, that, that's great. You've got oh, you've even got some motherboard standoff screws. Um, that is pretty cool. So, so that looks really good, guys. We'll 
I think we'll pop this and we'll do a separate video soon and we'll build this. Maybe I'll do like a timeline build and I'll try and, uh, you know, I've got two to do, so I'll see if I can do some kind of, uh, you know, uh, learning and go fast as we go. So yeah, so that's good. All right, so let's open some of these then. So let's see what's in here. So I have also, like I've got a few GPUs, motherboards. Um, I've also ordered, drum roll, a mini Dogecoin miner. Too. So I'm looking forward to mining a bit of Doge. Um, oh, oh, here it is, speak of the devil. I actually didn't know. Um, I thought it was in here somewhere. Check this out. Gold shell. I'm liking it. Let's have a quick sneak peek. I'm very excited about this, guys. Mining some Doge. And again, this is a bit more of a longer term thing. Oh my god, that is tiny. Oh my god. <laughs> Check that out. That is brilliant. It is tiny. So I don't know what, I thought maybe a little bit bigger than this, but uh, well, that looks really good, guys. I am. All right, well, separate video coming up, and we'll hopefully we'll get this thing plugged in and mine some Doge. I think it's a dual miner board. We can do some Doge and some Litecoin. There's a nice little pal called there. Oh, that's really good guys. Alright, very excited about this. So uh, very neat, nice little box. Um, yeah, love it. Gold shell. Got the little, got the little uh, there he is, little doge coin there. So awesome. Alright, I'm very excited about that guys. Very excited. So uh, it's uh, cool. Okay, let's uh, let's do some unboxing. So this should be a GPU in here from uh, from TechFast. Um, don't know if you guys, anyone uses TechFast in Australia, but hopefully here we're going to have a nice full hash rate 3060 Ti. Um, we've got this just before, oh, just after Christmas, I think it was. So um, again, I picked this up. I think it was definitely around 1400 or sub 1400 which is kind of where the gpus are coming in now um you know i generally always try and like you know make offers or try and do deals kind of thing so protect myself obviously when things drop a little bit so it's um it's like that there you go right. there you go. one nice that's a spanking new looking 3060 ti full hash rate look at that beautiful love these i've got probably got eight to ten of these um, you know, it's funny as well, you know, is you never really want to see a Rev 2 on a 30 series GPU unless it's the gaming OC Pro. So, so basically what happened, I think they would have had a, um, uh, they would have had a Rev 1 and then they would, I guess they've done some updates on a Rev 2. The Rev 3 is actually the LHR version. So obviously stay away from the, you know, I think anything that says Rev 3, definitely be, be scared, but generally, yeah, Rev 2 is not good. But in this case, for this model, it's the 3060 Ti Gaming um, OC Pro. So it's the OC Pro. Not, not, so if you get the Gaming OC, Rev 2, it's a fail. OC Pro, Rev 2, all good. So, yeah, beautiful. Look at that. Very nice. So, all right, we'll put that there. All right, let's see what else we've got in here. So, what should we do next, guys? What should we do next? What should we do next? Uh, I'm going to go for this one at the top, I think. I think this, this, this is the one up here. I've got a good feeling about this. Right, let's get you back there. Right. What's in here? So there are a few motherboards in here somewhere, I think, as well, I did order. Where's this one? Oh, Computer Alliance. Yeah, this might be. Okay. MSI B450 A Pro Max. Let's just open it quickly. I love these motherboards. Um, I think initially a lot of my rig builds were on uh, Intel uh, chip boards and you know Z390s, but just uh, like you see under the plastic there, one, two um, X1 PCI slots, a full X16, two more X1s, and a full X16. It's got a little bit of armor on there. Six slots, love it. These AMD uh, uh, motherboards, I find them really awesome. Just obviously the AMD chips are generally a bit more expensive than the um, Intel chips. Uh, but look, I'm finding, you know, if you can, like, you know, the, the reason 53600, probably a little bit OTT for mining, 
you know, I've got a month, I've got one rig running at two six zero zero. Um, uh, Reason 5 2600, and I've got another one running a uh, what is it? It's a it's a 1600 um, uh, chip, and both work well, you know. And like I think the 1600 you can get for around just under $200, um, and the, the 2600 are probably like mid $200 kind of thing. So, yeah, so a bit more expensive the AMD um, CPUs, but I'm, I do love their boards, and I'm gonna say MSI are brilliant motherboards as well. So, um, yeah, awesome, all right. Let's go over here next, what's this? So I'm wondering if this is another mini doge mine on here. I think I've got two. No, I don't have two. I've got two here. So this is well sealed up. Once you have a knife or scissors handy when you're unboxing, especially you know, unboxing marathon like this. <laughs> so, but yeah, I am like I said earlier in the video, I'm quite excited about this dual mining, the Ethereum and the the Ton coin at the same time. Um uh, a lithium or something. So yeah, so oh, here we go. Yep, so it is another mini doge. I love getting mini doge with the. Some of them, I think they're random. Have the. Um, they have like the little dog and stuff on the side, or there's a Voss coin one kind of thing. So it's. Uh, yes, there we go. So yeah, this one didn't come with a PSG. That's how I brought it. So um, yeah, that's good. A little dust in there, but yeah, hopefully it's good for some uh, some doge mining. So yeah, bring it on. So. Very good. So let's uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's put that there somewhere. So I'm not sure if you guys are thinking about getting into a little bit of, um, you know, for me, asset mining is not really on the radar. However, um, I guess for me, because uh, I think, you know, quite high power draw, but also quite noisy, you know. So I live in a, you know, a suburb, suburb here where you don't really want to annoy the neighbours. Um, so, you know, unless I actually, and look, it is, I am thinking about actually moving the GPU farm to a, uh, you know, off-site, you know, more, more of a dedicated site, you know, away from the home. But for now, I just think asset miners, you know, like full-size ones, it's got too much kind of uh, uh, ability just to make a bit too much noise and kind of annoy people, you know. We want to we wanna make some money, we want to, you know, get some uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, blah, 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 but, you know, we don't want to be annoying neighbours in the process, you know. So, so. if the price is right, I'll take it without, so... See what's in here. This looks like a 3070 full hash rate. So let's have a quick look here. Uh, yeah, there you go. 3070 gaming OC. Beautiful, love these again. A bit like the 3060 Ti gigabytes. I've got a lot of these. Very reliable, run really smooth. Um, yeah, beautiful cards. So uh, yeah, brilliant. Let's uh, let's put that up there and get rid of this uh, myriad of bugs. That'll keep, keep the kids happy later. So. Alright, oh, this is exhausting, guys. Let's let's, uh, let's keep moving on. Actually, I think I know what's in here. Very big box. Um, I think in here, I managed to snag a MSI full uh, hash rate 3070 um, gaming apps, so triple fan gaming apps. And I, I must say, these cards are just phenomenal. Um, you know, the hottest day, you know, some cards struggle a little bit, but um, you know, some cards do struggle in the heat, but these are just so cool, they've got so much heat sink on them, um, they've got so much, uh, um, you know, the fans are amazing, so I, I really, really do love, um, some seriously good packing here, again, kudos to Seller for uh, doing some great job packing. Isn't that just a sight for sore eyes there, guys? Look at that. That's, that is just, you know, that, that's just awesome, you know. Let's have a look at that. That is just awesome. Probably my favourite card, I'd say. Um, you know, it's just the cooling's amazing. Hash is, you know, 16 minute hash all day long. Let's have a quick sympathy, guys. You know, I'm going to unbox this. Look at that. Okay. Oh, man, that looks, look at that. Yeah. PC by... 
Look at that. When's that? Two. So that's about a year old, 2021. And I paid less than that. So that, that's great, actually. Let me just find the address there. But, so I'm paying less than someone originally paid for it, which is not always the case nowadays either in the company money world. Um, but, oh. It's so heavy that you know that's why it's so good it's got monster amount of heat sink in there you know this thing is never going to melt you know well i'm sure it could do but but it, that is just one epic gpu um yeah beautiful beautiful a work of art so you know what whilst we hate the video for uh, um you know doing all the hr stuff and that you know we love their tech and we love msi you know they, they, they've done a great job on msi like uh, probably they probably make my favourite motherboards and, um, you know, probably, it might be my favourite cards actually. So, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll give the MSI the, uh, the dual win there for making the best motherboards and the best graphics cards. So, so, yeah, so I wouldn't really have to that right up, but, you know, I just couldn't help it, guys. So it's a really good card, that I must say, really good. So. Right, okay, let's uh, space it, guys. Put that there. Um, right, let's open this one again. Another big box here. Ooh, a big one. Okay. I'm not quite sure what's in here now. Putting a lot of bubble out. Looks like a 3070. Um, Again, I've been quite busy doing some other things the last few weeks, so I tend to find I get some deliveries in, I kind of lose track. As a, another good reason to have some video, um, it just means you've got a good record of, um, you know, what what you've got, who it's from, and you can always revert to that if you've got any issues. So, so. Yes, it's good. Let's get that open. So that was the, what was this? This was the big, that was yeah, this, this box. So yeah, probably one interesting box. Proper box. Oh, it's a little bit crummy. All right, cool. Look, he's done a pretty good job in there. So yeah, but look, let's just check what we've got in the room. It's pretty good. It's Thirty seventy gaming OC at Rev One. Beautiful. Love it. I see what's happened there. The actual the phone sort of come apart there a little bit. So we'll, um, wow, I don't know how we've even got that in there. Let's, uh, I think we'll, we'll chuck that up there for now. And then we'll sort this box out in a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Right. Bubble wrap system. I'll, I'll do all the clearing away when I finish doing the fun box and stuff. Um, right, what's in here, guys? I'm thinking, if I'm, I'll show you another uh, 37 in here. I think it should be a. I've got a lot of these 3060, the Nerf version, so the ones that work with the. Uh, the 3070, um, sorry, the 3060, then the developer driver, the 470.05 driver to get um, like almost 50 mega hash out of the 3060s now. Um, and I really like them, great cooling, not as good as MSI, but a lot of heat sink on there. But let's, let's have a quick look. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I was quite keen to get also get one, a 3060 Ti full hash rate. Um, and Look, it's not always the point about mining making profits, but it'll actually look quite nice in the rig. I'm going to put it next to um, the other, um, you know, the uh, 360. And um, we've, got, we've got some nice um, LEDs on it, like uh, the, like this stuff up here. Um, I think lights up anyway, kind of thing. So, but yeah, so we've got a lot of fat heat sink in there. Um, you know, quite a nice looking card. Like, you know, in odd. Um, don't always get the best ratings, but I've been really happy with the cards. I'd probably say s stay away from the twin fan cards, the triple fan cards though, all that fat heat sink in there, really good cards, great for mining. I really don't have any, any complaints with that. So yeah, so yeah, really happy to get that. And I'm gonna, uh, you know, I'm gonna match that up. I'm gonna take a 3070 off of running 
and put this on there and then I'll have a nice kind of um, you know organized all, all of the in our 3d cards sort of looking the same in the rig um, you know might even get me an extra 0.1 of the mega hash uh, not but you know it, it will look good so that will uh, make me happy so cool let's do that so almost there guys so I think we've just got two more things to unbox so what's in here it's, Oh, I think in here I've just got some, okay, these are the sort of things you just want to have some spare, you don't want to be doing, doing a rig and realise, hey, I'm going to eat from that cable, so yeah, so I've just got some uh, five metre um, Ethernet cables and some, I think there's some three metre ones in there as well, you've got three metre ones, and look, I think these are just good to have lying around in case you need them, so that's cool. And the final one is, almost there guys, is... See, it's going to be something um, EVGA, and it's from uh, BCP Tech, who I get quite a lot of stuff from down in Melbourne. Um, you know, normally quite competitive on graphics cards, um, but I find almost always got the best price on, on PSUs. So I'll put a little clue for you guys. And here we have three. Um, I'll just bring you guys a little bit close there. So we've got three. Um, 750 watt EVGA um, ATX PSUs. Now, I generally um, now use server PSUs, but I always have one ATX PSUs to power up the motherboard, the CPU, um, and maybe one or two graphics cards. So, yeah, got these for about $119 um, Aussie, which I thought was an incredible price. Um, probably for $850 I could get it, but for $750 watts, a really high quality trusted brand, hundred less than 120 bucks free postage, you know, BPC tech, great job. So yeah, so really, really happy with that. So, so yeah, so that's the unboxing guys. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna pour myself a coffee, I think now, and uh, yeah, celebrate this buying. And look, you know, the buying is one side of it. And I always say to people, you know, it is actually hard work, you know, procuring stuff, getting the right things, uh, making sure things all match up. So, so yeah, so we've done that. And next thing's to get on with building. So um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like uh, what we've been unboxing here. And obviously, this means there's going to be some uh, some great content coming up soon. And um, yeah, hopefully, get all these lovely uh, GPUs making us some money. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, appreciate the comments, some likes, share with your friends. Let's get let's let's try and I want to try and get to a thousand followers. I'm going to say by the end of March, I'm, you know, going to, going to take it slow. But, yeah, pre appreciate the love. And, um, yeah, have a good day, guys. Um, good luck with your mining. Any questions, let me know. And, uh, well, yeah, we'll chat soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.